Hey guys, so Advent day number 16, and today we're looking at Ezekiel, one of my favorite uh, men and characters in the Bible. Uh, in Ezekiel, he God would give Ezekiel visions and dreams about uh, information to uh, to tell the nation of Israel because they had um, they were in a mess, they were in exile, they they were living away from their homeland, and they were living away from there because of the way that they had allowed themselves to get in their personal lives. Uh, and and even as a nation too, the and and in the uh, in the, one of those visions, one of the most famous visions that he gives him is this. Uh, it's called the vision of the dry bones. And what it is is that God uh, gives Ezekiel this vision where he looks out into this valley and there's all these bones just laying around these dry bones, and um, God breathes on them and it begins to bring them to life. They begin to grow uh, muscle and flesh and everything again, and they begin to come back to life. So uh, the thing about this is that uh, that is still applicable. To us today is that God breathes life into our uh, into us because one day uh, we were those dry bones uh, we were without God we were sinners separated from him and then in that moment that he convicted us to come back to him he was breathing life onto our dry bones uh, also in the same way keep this in mind is that uh, we can get to this place where our relationship with him is dry and it's and it's just not where it needs to be so maybe today we need to ask him to breathe life back into our relationship relationship with him. So just like uh, God gave Ezekiel that vision, I'm praying that maybe today you'll be able to see how God can breathe life back into your uh, dry season, your dry bones.